it's pretty clear to me that we are going to have a very exciting time this year. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's already incredibly exciting. We're sort of caught in slight indecision about Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton. I'm quite sure that that's going to get resolved. I don't know when, but it will get resolved. And then we will have, whoever our candidate is, I can tell you I will be 156% supportive <laughs> of that person. That this is a presidential year and we all get so wrapped up in the presidential politics and who we're going to vote for and what their positions are. But I want to remind you that there's some other things going on this year. <laughs> First, one of, uh, there's several people running for the Democratic nomination to beat Gordon Smith. <laughs> that everybody here would agree with me that one of the greatest lies that has ever been perpetrated on the people of Oregon is that Gordon Smith is a moderate. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! 90% of the, do you think George Bush is a moderate? <laughs> no! 90% of the time, Gordon Smith votes with George Bush. <laughs> when you're a moderate, vote with the guy 90% of the time. Hello? <laughs> but then, you know, okay, so we've got a real opportunity for a net pickup in the, in the U.S. Senate. We also have a real challenge because this year, the 5th Congressional District, our wonderful representative, Darlene Hooley, announced her retirement. And we've got several people competing to be the Democratic nominee in that district. And we all know that the 5th Congressional District is a very close district. And I just want to encourage all of you to do everything you can. Whoever wins the primary, maybe it's Steve Marks, maybe it's Kurt Schrader, whoever it is, I just really want to encourage all of you to recognize that this is going to be one of the top targets for the, G the GOP in terms of trying to reverse the, G the, the Democratic gains in the Congress. And no matter who wins that primary, we have got to do everything we can to make sure that the 5th Congressional District in Oregon remains a Democratic district for now and for the future. <laughs> now, there are um, several other races going on. One, there are now three Democratic candidates to uh, replace yours truly. I can't run for re-election. And there are three people running. We'll see in the primary who emerges from that primary. But that person, whoever that person is, will be faced with a, uh, an opponent in the fall, a guy named Rick Dancer, who is very well known right here in Eugene, because he's been on television for years here in Eugene. But um, I, I really want to encourage you to make sure that you support whoever wins the Democratic primary because there's something going to be happening in about three years. Oh, redistricting. That's happening in three years. And it's critically important to have someone who's going to do it fairly and do it even-handedly. And that's what we've seen uh, with our Democratic Secretaries of State. So please pay attention to that race. There's another race for a state treasurer. Our only Democrat is Ben Westland. Uh, he's running against uh, Alan Alley. 
Uh, but it'll be very interesting to see whether Alan Alley figures out kind of what really is involved in running for office, uh, because this is his first time. But strong, I'm a strong supporter, and I hope all of you will be strong supporters of Ben Wesley. And then there's this other issue that all of us, we had an incredible breakthrough two years ago. Uh, and I give a lot of credit to John Isaacs, I give a lot of credit to Jeff Berkeley, because the House of Representatives in Oregon has gone into Democratic control for the first time in 16 years. Did anybody notice a difference? <laughs> partisan about it, but look at the difference. It was incredible. Go ahead and be partisan. Oh, well, I mean, it, it was just, it, you don't have to be. I mean, the, the, the difference was so incredible with Democratic control of the House and Democratic control of the Senate. So let me just remind you that our margin in the House is 31 Democratic votes and 29 or 28 Republican 29, but uh, there's one independent I keep thinking. But anyway, maybe that's in the Senate. Actually, that's in the Senate. So it's 29 to 31. So very, very close. Believe me that the Republicans are working very, very hard to make sure that that gets reversed. And I think all of us will be benefited if we keep the House in Democratic hands. Finally, um, the state senate. Now, it's not really at risk, but here's the deal. Whenever you start thinking something's not at risk, you better look out. And it's pretty clear to me that we can hold on to the state senate, but that's going to be a challenge. We've got to make sure that all the people uh, who need to stay there do stay there and we pick up some additional democratic seats. If we do, and if we elect a Democrat, President, what a wonderful, wonderful year next year and the year after and the year after and the year after are going to be. Finally! <laughs>